Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth Olson, part of the Creative Jill Stamping Team, and I am so excited to show you this technique today. It's kind of a technique that's sweeping the crafting world, and I wanted to try my hand at it and put my spin on it, because isn't that kind of what we do? We all share ideas and then kind of make it our own, which I love. This particular trend, I think I've been seeing people call it the PC paper trend, or they'll take their scraps and they'll make a little background with it. So let me show you something that I've created. I made this little card. So you take just different pieces of scraps of your designer series paper, and you cut them into strips, and then you piece them all together, and it makes kind of this really fun background. So with Stampin' Up! we carry designer series paper, which they typically come in 12 by 12, pieces, or we do offer some that are six by six inch pieces, but our 12 by 12 inch pieces are so great. They come in a, in a package that coordinate with 12 different papers, but the great thing is they're double-sided. Typically with our collections, we have a more graphic piece of paper on one side and then a more monochromatic piece of paper on the other side. So you can kind of choose what works best for your project and go from there. And I love that it gives you so many options in your creations. So this is a very themed set of designer series paper, but when you cut them down to teeny little strips, you can kind of change the look of it because it just becomes more color and texture and patterns. Let me show you what I mean. So here's that first card that I showed you. This is actually from the a birthday designer series paper set, which is why I use this cute saying, this calls for confetti. The thing I really liked about this designer series paper were the colors. They're fun and bright and they make it look like a party. So I thought they worked really well together for that. I chose this card off of the saying, wishing you much happiness today and always. And I thought of that for a wedding. And so I picked some designer series paper that was softer and a little more subtle and I thought looked a little romantic and that's what I created the card around. This is actually the same designer series paper that I showed you from the pack earlier the Parisian Blossoms, but you can't really tell these bigger pieces are these smaller pieces. It's more of the colors that work together. Here's another one I created. Some of you might recognize this paper as a Valentine's Day paper that was themed for this year from Stampin' Up! But I think it can be used for a friendship card or for any other card just because the colors work so well together and I paired it with a more neutral color background and it just kind of makes it nice and fun. You can't tell that it was Valentine's Day paper. Here's my final project, a little box. I can't thank you enough. The paper that I chose for this box, we actually carried in our holiday catalog from this past year. It is a Christmas paper, but I don't think you can tell. I think it works so well. The colors work really cute together and it just goes really well in this little box. So let me show you how I like to do this technique and I can give you some little tips and tricks that hopefully will help you to recreate this fun, trendy technique. Here are the papers that I used on my little box. These are from a Christmas paper. There's even little ornaments on one side that we carried last year. I've cut them into little strips here and I also have a white piece of cardstock that I'm going to layer them on. This cardstock measures three by three inches and I cut my strips to three and a quarter inches. I have two different sizes. I have a quarter of an inch and half an inch that I've cut from each of my little pieces. I like, in my creating, I found that using three different designer series paper wasn't overwhelming, but it gave you just enough of a different pattern that it worked really well. You could try with more or with less. You'll just get a different look, but I'm sure it'll be just as cute. So I took my adhesive and put a strip down and then I take a little strip of paper and layer it on there. And then more adhesive and kind of layer them. You can make them a little skitty wampus and overlap. And it looks different every time you do it. Let's do this one again. A little more adhesive on the end. And just keep laying it down as you go. Okay, and you'll cover the whole entire thing, and then you'll trim off the back so that it's nice and straight, and you'll get all these little confetti pieces all over the place. It's only fun if you make a mess, right? So it'll look like this. And then I chose to use the So Sentimental stamp set from Stampin' Up! 
I really like this one. It had a variety of sayings in it for different occasions and they're different sizes, which is kind of fun. Um, for all of the cards today, I use this, but any occasion stamp set that you have will also work with this and any designer series paper that you have will work for this. So if you're a crafter like we are, I know you have scraps lying around and this is such a great project for scraps. So I hope I've inspired you today to create your own PC paper scrap project and I'd love to see them. So go ahead and comment below if you want to share your project with us. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.